In this video, we're gonna be using Ariana and Evans Cuban Highball and the Rockwell 6C Razor in gunmetal. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. And if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So as mentioned before, the soap for today is Ariana and Evans Cuban Highball, which is very reminiscent of frozen mojitos. Now this soap has a great scent. I love frozen mojitos. I love this one too. To me, this one has a, um, um, the scent is just more full. It's full, full bodied, I would call it. It's got some addition, it, well, Pete threw tobacco in there. And if you know anything about Pete, you know, he loves tobacco scent. Um, not pipe tobacco, sweet tobacco. It's just a very nice uh, scent, scent strength on this one. About six, slightly over medium. Uh, I like the label. It's got all the required information. The only thing I would like to see on this is the base name. But other than that, this isn't like the undersea where there was a lot of what I think is required information missing from the label. So I'm very, very happy with this. It comes to you at a very good price too. It is 50, well, I won't say the club price, but it comes to you at under $4 an ounce, which on our chart is a good price. And trust me, this is one of the best soap ba uh, bases on the market. I think that's almost irrefutable at this point. It is absolutely phenomenal. And it's like this, but it's more full bodied and it's got that tobacco and some additional uh, boozy nuts, but it's not one that's gonna have you smelling like a, a, a drink. A Cuban highball is of course uh, a drink. Anyway, great smelling soap. We're also gonna be using the Rockwell 6C today with Feather and Rockwell, for those of you who don't know, the 6C is a very good value razor. It comes to you with six different adjustments via the plates. And there you see I'm using number six. So whatever's pointing down is the plate you're using. I'm using it with a Feather blade. And so if you turn this plate over, you could go with five. I'm using six today. So we will get our shave on with the Rockwell 6C. And we have yapped enough. Let's get started with the Glen Helly Misting Bottle. Uh, around 24 hours growth today. Maybe slightly under, but not too much. And we're gonna use a pre-shave today. This is the PAA Cube. And uh, I gotta watch the Chief and Jack from the Virtual Groom Room's um, Instagram show because I heard uh, Ken Klitschko from Shave326 talking about they were saying on there that pre-shaves are absolutely not necessary, and they're correct, they're not. But soap isn't even necessary, as I've <laughs> clearly demonstrated uh, a couple of weeks ago. So if we want to talk about necessary, this is the wrong hobby to be talking about what is necessary, because I think we all overdo it. Ariana and Evans brush, which you can get in the shaving shop club. This is synthetic. I love this brush. I use it each time I use an a a, &A product, which <sighs> is a lot. The a and &E product is phenomenal in quality and the price is right. And so that's why you're seeing so many people use it. It's not because, look, uh, I am friends with Pete. I've known him a long time. I've broken bread with Pete, but the product is just on point, you know. That said, you know me, I don't hes hesitate to, to criticize constructively, I hope, his products when I don't like them or the service. Now, I will say, the shipping on this was fantastic. I ordered it Thursday evening. I got it Monday morning. So, that is outstanding. Um, the last package didn't arrive as quickly, and I said it. And again, I just call it like I see. But keep in mind, folks, the U.S. Post Office right now, it, it's pretty rough on shipping. So, the, fault, it, the shipping woes may not be the fault of the artisan, because he did get it out quickly. Um, the last time, but it just got hung up in the postal system. So please be cognizant of that. Couple of announcements real quick. Do not forget, in the Lather and Blade Facebook group, and if you're not in it, uh, consider joining it. Ray Pope and the Stallion, let me put the image right there for you. We'll be live this coming Saturday night at 8 p.m. Now, that will most likely not be a family-friendly affair, so, you know, <laughs> you might want to not watch that in front of your kids or folks who are sensitive to adult language and, and what have you. So just keep that in mind. Also, uh, I did a spotlight with Rod and Mandy Lovin of Sterling 
and that is now live. So I will link that video below. I encourage you to watch it. I know the video quality is not great, but the conversation is top rate. And if you are a fan of Sterling, you're gonna to wanna to see it. And if you're not a fan of Sterling, you're gonna to wanna to see it. <laughs> Cause I, I just think the, the conversation is outstanding. And so check that out. The last announcement that I shall make today is uh, I was also on the Leather Hog podcast with John and Gerald, and I will also link that video below. I think we had an excellent conversation there as well. So that said, I'm a little biased on the issue. Um, okay, let's get to the soap and the razor now. The uh, razor is performing well. This is six. I don't find six to be intimidated, but then again, most DE razors are not intimidating to me at this point. Um, it is efficient. It is well priced, 50 bucks. This is the gunmetal version. I will link Rockwell below. I think it's a, I think it would be a good choice for a first razor simply because you can start out on the lower plates if you want to and you know. Um, but I would encourage you if you are new to sort of stick with one setting for a while before you attempt to, you know, adjust upward. That's, that's just uh, my advice. Okay, so the ingredients on this Soap are absolutely fantastic. Now, this is one of those soaps that has super high quality ingredients in terms of the type of ingredients. It's a type of soap that, you know me, I say it's the unicorn milk, the, the super blue emu, the chupacabra oil, the, the dragon tallow. Cause so it, we'll put it here for you. It has goat's milk, aloe, lanolin, shea butter, cocum butter. It is a really nice ingredients. And I find that those things that I mentioned. Uh, by the way, that cut right there is a straight razor cut, so we're not gonna count that. I just uh, slid the, the DE over it and opened it back up. I, I cut myself the other day with the, the straight putting it on my face, so that's no fault of the Rockwell and surely not the soap, because this stuff is legit. Like, I know people are tiring of hearing about, you know, Ariana and Evans, but it's legit. There's just no question about it. now. I saw an announcement he made yesterday talking about he was having trouble sourcing aftershave bottles. And so if you're in Europe, some of your orders, um, if you're, you know, waiting for your wholesalers to receive these products, it's being held up partially because of the the shipping situation in the United States is just rough right now. And so people are having problems finding supplies. Uh, Pete did announce he was having problems getting his uh, aftershave splash bottles. And so he's looking for other ones. Um, it's difficult. So that's what's holding up um, some of those wholesale orders because I get a lot of folks who comment that I love it, but I've been waiting forever. And, you know, I, I certainly apologize for that because, you know me, I like to be inclusive of everyone. I like for everyone to be able to participate. And these are great soaps. And uh, I want you all to get them too. You know, you folks in Europe and all over the world, not only Europe. Let's see if I can be a little bit more gentle around that cut there. Anyhow, um, that's what's taking so much time. So just wanted to throw that out there. Now back to the, uh, back to the Lather and Blade Facebook group. So to describe the group, it's, it's just in the old school tradition of having fun. You know, there's not a bunch of draconian rules. If you want to use the MF soap in, uh, in there, you can. It's, it does not exist to sell you things. Like we're not pinning posts in there that to to sell you things. It's just there for fun and to enjoy uh the hobby. And so if you if you want if you're interested, then please join. I know a lot of times people are like, I'm not on Facebook. Well get on it. It's free, you know? But if you don't want to, I understand. But um it's just a lot of fun, a lot of live videos and then there's gonna be content in there that you can only see there. So be mindful of that. There are many groups um, and many that I love, many great Facebook groups. Shave the man, you know, razor and brush. Um, this one is a little bit different because it is still shave centric, but there's some some old school fun in there too. Um, you know, it's not one where there's, the it's moderated so heavily and it certainly does not exist just to sell you things, you know. So we're not pinning posts in there um, to make you aware of 
what Pete has for sale. You know, now someone may post a, like, I'm going to post this video in there and make you aware of this soap, but this is just, you know, I'm not trying to sell it to you. If you want it, get it. If you don't want it, don't get it. But what I'm getting to is Pete is not going to be pinning posts like, oh, I just had a big drop or something, you know? And so the group is not there strictly for the benefit of Pete or anyone else for that matter. It is a group and groups are about the group, not about, you know, promotion of any particular individual or product. It's a, every product is welcome in there. Um, so long as, you know, they're not, I think the, the main rule in there is just not crapping on people, you know. There are limits, but it's a little more reasonable in terms of moderation. And so I hope you'll check it out. And I think you'll have fun. Uh, but keep in mind, it's not going to be entirely family friendly. And there are plenty of places if you want to be 100% family friendly, you know, that I'm not against that at all. But let's face it, we're all buttoned up at work, or a lot of us like me are buttoned up on my YouTube channel. And then in there, you know, we like to let her hair down a little bit and just have fun. Uh, this Rockwell 6C is a good razor, for sure. It's efficient on the six plate, but not scary, in my opinion. Um, it does a very nice job. The finish is prone to scratching, these high polish finishes. There is a scratch or two. I don't know how they got there, but they're there, and I've been very easy on this, so be cognizant of that. Any of the high polish finishes that are shiny can sometimes be prone to scratching, so just be mindful of that. Uh, man, this soap is phew, great scent, great ingredients, great cost, completely satisfied. So maybe people watch this one and go, oh, he didn't criticize me for anything <laughs> this time. But, you know, folks, like I say, I, I just have to say it the way it is. And uh, I set aside my personal relationships with with uh, some of these artisans when I use the product. You have to. I owe it to you all to do so. And so just be mindful of that. Um very, very nice. All right. I tell you, just really smooth shave here with the Rockwell today. And I hope all of you are doing well uh, this morning when you're watching this or whenever it may be. I thank you very much for your uh, subs, for the views on Instagram. Like, you know, I have my, by the way, if you want to, if you're on Facebook and you want to connect with me, I have the IMCDB Facebook page for that. And if not there, you can connect with me in the Lather and Blade Review uh, Facebook group. So those are the two places to do that. I try to keep my personal profile, you know, I don't really interface much with, with uh, shaving folks on that. Um, but I do, I'm open in many, many other places. So thank Thanks to those of you who have uh, taken advantage of that. Looks like that little cut there has uh, stopped bleeding, so that's good through the course of the shave. It just sort of closed up. And boy, I must say, fantastic quality soap here. It's just first rate. And, you know, there's no other way to put it. It's fantastic. And it leaves that, you know, you can see there's still a little bit of that visible lather there, but there is a very good residual slickness there. Just no question about the quality on this stuff. First rate, the price, first rate. The question is going to be, do you enjoy the scent? Um, I really do. I'm happy to have this one. To me, if I had to choose between one of these two, I would choose the Cuban Highball. It's just, it's more fuller bodied scent. That's the only way I can think to uh, describe it. Okay, let me rinse. We shall come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And we are back with our Lancaster Tail to wick away that moisture. Off cam, we used the PAA alum, complete with the dry dock, still holding up great. I used it primarily just to hit that spot to make sure we're in that sort of antiseptic, antiseptic quality. And I must say, in using the alum block, no burning whatsoever. Um, this Rockwell 6C is a really smooth shaver. Uh, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber Thumb Spraying in a spray bottle that I purchased on Amazon. Again, links below if you're interested. Um, again, the links that say affiliate links 
I do get a stipend if you purchase from those links. However, I'm not asking you to buy that. If you want to to help the channel, great. Uh, however, completely up to you and I never ask you to. Okay, so the Rockwell 6C with the feather blade on six, excellent, smooth, no burning from the alum. This is a very good um, value razor. If you want the stainless version, you can go a 6S for a hundred bucks. This one you can find around 50. Feather blade, awesome shave. I don't find feather blades to be remotely menacing in any way. That's just me. Um, we use the Ariana and Evans synthetic, which is great. And of course, once again, Cuban highball, stellar. If you like this scent, I think you'll like this scent. Do you need to buy this one if you already have this one? No, um, but I prefer this one. I will keep both because I just like the scent. I'm gonna finish off today with Asian pear. Not that it smells anything like that, but I just ordered it, so I wanna use it. <laughs> um, I will probably order the Cuban highball aftershave because I really like it. Okay, let's see how we do today. Let's get this stuff on. Ah, yeah. Oh, Asian pear. Woo! Asian pear is one of my favorite um, A&E scents. I really enjoy it. Ah, oh, that just smells great. Mm. Let's go again. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you gotta do it. You know, sometimes you gotta double up on it. Fantastic. Asian pear, one of Pete's, for my, um, from my perspective, one of Pete's best scents. I absolutely love it. Today was a fantastic shave. It was fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, I'm your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.